Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box CNT, and let me show you how to build this beautiful rig right now. Okay, so this is the second part of the video. We're going to build the rig. We're going to put all the hardware together. In the first part, we did the box. All right, so this one has nine video cards. We're going to use the G4s. Okay, 1060. This is a, uh, a six gigabyte version. In a 1050 Leno RAM one up, that will be the number card card. We're going to put it in. All right, so we're going to have a DDR4, a gigabyte. We're going to use a Celeron chip. Okay, it's about a 50 box, the one we're going to be using. Okay, that works pretty good. Uh, and for the hard drive, we're just going to use it a 32 gig. Um, uh, USB um, flash drive because we're going to be running sim simple mining. Okay, so that's the only thing required. No hard drive, no solid state hard drive. That will do perfect. Okay, so for the extenders, we're going to use um, version 7. Okay, and I should show you that in a second coming up. That's it. That's the version 7 or 0.7 extender. I will show you later on the difference. Okay, and then we're going to be using the Prime 278. Remember, that one has only seven PCS press. So we're going to use it to extend this where normally you put the solid state uh, drive. Okay, memory drive. You're going to be use this little standard at about $10 a piece. And with that, we're going to get two more, a total of nine. All right, so in the next part now, we're going to start putting it all together and I'll show you what this thing's going to look like in the end. All right, so as we see in the previous video, right? Oh, that was the box that we built. So if you just catching this video, I'm going to leave a link. So I will show you how to get all those parts together. And now it's time to install the video cards. Okay, I always start from the first. Okay, I want to make sure you guys see there uh, the way I'm going to be holding the, the video cards. That's about the space. Okay, and I show you that in the first part of the video. And I always start from one corner. So we're going to be doing now, we're going to start from one corner. And we're going to divide it in three parts. We're going to put one one in each corner, one right in the middle. Eventually, it will be about three inches, two and a half inches apart. And to fit uh, nine video cars, this rig is 27 inches long. All right, 11 inches high and 16 inches deep. Okay, we're only using three pieces of wood. Don't require any, any more than that. It costs about maybe $35 to $40 to build a case. We use aluminum angles, I bought those in Home Depot, they are 96 inches long. It requires three uh, 96 to uh, not be enough. So it looks pretty good. Okay, so now we start installing the video cards. Now remember, do the holes first or so pre hold it. These are um, soft tapping screws. But it's going to keep you, when you do that, it's going to be you know, a lot of aluminum coming up. And if you have the motherboard there, or the video card will be a problem. You don't want those uh, definitely to get stuck in any electrical parts, electronic part. So I like to pre-drill first. So we just measure. We're going to put the first card right in the middle. So it can be easy to to figure out where we're going to be putting the next uh, the next card. I already marked it. So I have the two corners on the middle. And then I keep dividing. I'm going to keep putting uh, uh, another cars. These are all the same. 1060 was pretty good. All right. And another thing, make sure, guys, when you choose some video cars, not all the 1060s are the same. Okay. Um, actually, uh, when I did this rig, when I did this video, uh, it was all done. And some of the cars was giving me about 23 point, or almost like, they said it's a 24 mega hashes for car. And some of the cars, after overclocking, I get only 19. And now we're clocking with 15. And then all the cars, I was getting 19, not overclocking. I see why they are almost the same. Well, all right, so the problem is, depends what version you get these cars. Now, you're going to be paying almost a few bucks different on this car, and it makes a big deal, okay? Guys, if you're going to buy, I'm going to leave a link anywhere in this video if you'd like to buy any of this product. Okay, so this is the uh, GeForce 1060, all right? This is what they call the single fan uh, 6 uh, gigabyte DDR5, okay? 
very important that's the one you want to get the single version the single version you got the ftw you got different version the one i got the one i'm going to be installing in this video that actually will return it uh is the sc version and what the sc version it's only maybe a dollar cheaper or you get a big difference so, so you're going to be paying almost like 300 dollars for a car and you get like three or four gigabash um uh, mega hash is uh, different. And you say, well, it's not a problem if you get four. But when you do time nine or time six car, it will make a big difference because uh, the end rack is supposed to do 200 mega hashes. In the end, I only get 170. So it's a big difference. It's almost like an extra car. It's like an extra $300 I can go into this, uh, into this rig, okay? So it's very important. I will leave that there. If you guys are looking to get the maximum now, 23.54 mega hashes for car, you need to get the single version. Do not get the one they call it the super clock version. Okay, and get the super clock version. Overclock it. You're not going to get no more than 19. So we talk about almost four per car times eight cars. It's a big difference. And, and how do I figure out this? Because I bought three cars. And the other one, there was no more of those three cars, so they said, oh, well, can I choose a super clocker version? Well, the super clocker version, and then what happened? When you plug it in, you figure out things are not what it's supposed to be, okay? So, and actually, we're just waiting for this car. This video was pre-done. That's why I'm talking about all this. But it's very important because you're going to be missing up money tokens or, you know, whatever we're mining, right? So as you see now, I got the nine cars. It looks beautiful. That piece of wood there holds the car. No need to put a screw there. I mean, if, if you want to, you can put one screw there. But like I always say, you're not going to be playing around with this. You're going to leave it right away. Somewhere in the shelf, somewhere in the floor. And you're not ever going to touch this because everything is being controlled remote. One is running, and that's it. So let me show you the next part. We're going to be installing the motherboard, okay? And like I said before, pre-hold everything. You just use the same... Tap in the screw, just hold the one, remove it, and go to the next. So let's move up to the next step. So here we install the 270. As you see here, too, I'm going to use the soft tapping screws. Okay, you can use anything you want. Now, you're not going to go crazy and go all the way with my uh, electrical uh, screwdriver because you can damage the board if you like pressure. Just only to hold it a little bit. And if you see my previous video, I show you why I need to leave that space, as you see there, between the motherboard and the metal, because you get the CPU, the CPU metal where they hold the actual CPU on the bottom, so you don't want to put that underneath the motherboard, because they're going to be uneven, okay? Right now, I'm not using any space underneath. You can use the space if you feel like it. I did this in my fifth rig. You don't have to do that. I mean, if you want to look nice, go ahead. You can put one of those. I'm only going to put two screws there, one there, and another one on the corner. They actually need to remove one of the cars. There's no way to fit my uh, um, electrical screwdriver to be able to do that. So, But it's all pretty good. I just put one more just put it in. You don't have to. But you see there. So let's move up to the next step. Okay, so we install the memory. I think in this one I installed the second bank, and then I put it back to the first bank. For some reason, I got one of these motherboard. Every time I install in the first bank, they don't want to boot up. They, they give me a memory error, so I have to put in the second bank. I think in this one, actually, uh, I know I put in the second one, but I have to switch back to the first one. So if you guys give any problem, I'm not sure what that happened. If uh, you put in the first bank and you see, like, the yellow light coming, I guess you get the LEDs there, the status, and if you give you any problems, uh, make sure you um, just change your banks because I only order uh, a one eight gigabyte. I don't want to spend big bucks storing quite a lot of memory. So just in case you get that problem, all right. Nice. It's time for the racers. Okay. Um, now the ones I'm using here are the version points. You got the version point six, and then you got the version point seven. You got the version with the Molex connector, and this one it has the four pin. Now this is a real good ones. Okay. It also has a, it has a capacitor extra. It has it seems it has a transistor or, or dial to or in case it drops too much current to the SATA connector. And I will show you the difference. This is very important because when you buy this and if you buy the old version, 
it will not work with these cars. You need to have, and you will see, I have the 0.6 version and the 0.7 version. And when you look both, one is missing a capacitor, is missing like a ret it misses some part chips or something else. Those works good if you can install it in a 1050 because 1050 don't, don't require the power from the top because a, the car is not a car that requires a lot of power. So the 1050 only is being powered up from the SATA drive, from the SATA connection. Uh, from the racer now the 1060 it requires double power requires the power from the extender and requires the power from the top uh, rail okay so now for some reason it will not work so if you buy the wrong uh, extender it will not work and let me let me show you right now what the different looks pretty pretty big different because it will it actually is missing parts okay all right, I'm going to be showing you right now. See what I'm talking about? Pay attention to 0.7 is the left version. And it's 0.6. But can you see there is there is missing parts compared to each other? You see the one that has a capacitor, a dial. So that one, see the 0.7, it works perfect right now for the 1060s. And that one, I'm only going to be installing that. I have those cars. I bought it by mistake. And to return, I have to send it to China. I'm never going to see the money back. So... I use those only for the 1050 when I have a 1050 car. So make sure you get that right, guys, because you, if not, you're going to be more than about $60, $70. I'm going to be mounting the power supply right there. This is a 1,000 watt, the gold version. Um, works good, about $200. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, actually, I don't think I'm going to be showing you that right now, but I'm going to make a hole. I'll make two holes just to hold the... Um, uh, the power supply, see, I already did. I use the same hole. I look through the holes, and then I use the hardware, the hardware that comes already with the power supply. Look what I did. It moves, but who cares? You're not going to go anywhere. You can put something else if you want to hold it. In my case, it works perfect. Let's bring this up for a second. And you see, it will not go nowhere. You see, I use the original hardware, and the same holes that are already pre-drilled in the power supply. I just went with the regular drill in a bit and make a hole. And then look. Perfect. So that's it. So we get the CPU installed already. We got the motherboard already installed it. And we got all the extenders. So what we're going to do now, one, we're going to be putting all the cables to power up the rest. So, okay. So we're starting uh, installing now all the cables. We're going to move forward a little bit in the video so it gets too long. Okay. <laughs> all right. So as you see now, I started up power up in the top. It's going to look nice. A very important thing too, I mean, you see the finished product, okay, after it's all done. And we move to the next video will be the software. When we move to the software, actually I need to unplug all the video cards again. Because first, it will not boot up, it will keep me an arrow. So when you start, the first time you want to start the motherboard in, in Configure Bias, that we're going to do that too, the next video we're going to configure Bias, and it's all... The, all the races needs to be unplugged. So the way I do it, I just wire everything first and then just uninstall it or just uh, un remove it from the motherboard or the nine connectors, okay? Because it will keep you a problem. You're going to have a, a white LED saying you have a memory, a video problem. You're not going to boot it up. Anyway, in the first time when you want to configure your bias, you want everything off. But you want to pre-wire everything. Then when we start the software, we plug in everything again. So we're going to make it look real nice. Shame about this is actually, uh, and right now it's only running for cars because we return it. But they did the video, so you see how this build. I will show you how this thing looks in the end. I have a nice video done with my phone. I'll show you how this thing looks. So I'm going to be using um, zip types or whatever. Be careful with that too because sometimes you're using zip types and you make it all look nice and you figure out some of the cars are not running or you're having problem with the cables. Sometimes those cables. They don't have a good connection, and you'll be cutting up all those zip ties installed in there because I did that too. So just to give you a tip, because this is my first one. So it never works in the beginning, ever. It's, it's, this thing is weird. You install everything, everything should work. Oh, it should work all fine. It never is fine from the beginning. It's always something. The racist car, they are defected. The USB 3.0 cable sometimes are defected. There's many things. Um, Sometimes you got to swap the cars in places if you got different kinds. So 
It looks real nice. All right, let me show you another angle. We're getting ready. So now we start plugging in now the USB 3.0. Okay, we're going to be plugging one each. Okay. Right there. Eventually, what I'm saying, like I was saying before, when I'm going to power up this for the first time, I'm going to be unplugging everything from the... You see the one I just plugged right over there? If you see guys there, but right in my hand, that was extended version. Okay, that's the one I did. It costs about $10. So going to be plugging everything up, wire everything nice, and then by the time I'm going to boot up, I have to unplug it. I'm going to unplug it either from the car side or unplug it in. I think the easy way is to plug it right from the motherboard, all right? We get in there. Total time for this, I think I spent about three, uh, three to four hours. You have to remember to build the rig in the aluminum. By the time you cut it, you measure everything will be easily about a little more than two hours okay just to do that until you measure and you find all the parts you can spend a little more than two hours and then actually do the installation of the course and everything i did about two days um it would take you about uh, another two to three hours to do a nice and then the software that can take a while even though boot up fast and if everything is okay you should be fine but the overclocking part, that can take time. You can leave it a standard, not overclock anything. And if everything is fine, and should start in like in 10 minutes. But if when you start overclocking, you're going to be playing the game. It will crash and you got it back and you got to see what is crashing and go back and fix it back and forth. So I think, uh, let's, um, let me show you the final product. All right. So we are about to finish and uh, you will see a nice video how this thing looks in the end. Now, this is the second part, like I said, the video. First one, we built the rig itself. This one, we put all the hardware together. The third one, we built software. Uh, this third video should be coming up by about a week. Eventually, all the videos, all the links will be in, in all the description line when all the uploads being complete. Okay, so we have that running. Actually, it's using about 720 watts. I will do later on a final video after I get my new cars because some of these guys will already return it because we came with the problem. But you will see that in the simple mining, all right? And it looks pretty cool. I actually have one of the cars unplugged right now. I think the 1050 is unplugged. I was doing some tests. But you guys have an idea what this thing, uh, this thing looks like. It's actually running right now, as you see. And I'm already uh, mining uh, to simple mining. So that will be it, guys. If you have any question, any comment, just let me know, and I will put all the information and everything you guys uh, require to build your uh, maybe for mining, um, you know, Bitcoin Gold or Ethereum, you know, Class Monero, or any other coins you may like. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.